Hi, so I'm going to do some concrete stairs here in case anyone is curious the way to do them. Uh, to be honest, I used to do the stairs as just solid, but uh, it's better to use the concrete. So I'm going to go 11 inches here. I'm going to go up seven. So you can see the start of my stairs is over here. Just because it's better to draw in that last step, you will usually need it for your dimensioning at least. So, and then we we'll copy this up in an array. So, copy, select your point, A for array, 7 for how many, and go to there. And then we can draw a line again here go five feet and let's make it four foot wide just make sure each time you're snapping correctly because uh, you get used to it after a while but at the start you, you're going to snap off a couple of times so you make some mistakes so now I'm going to do concrete slab I'm going to do from this point over here and we can do that as a 10 inch slab I guess and we can see this is a C2530. And let's do another slab up here. Sorry, picked the wrong one. Let's do another slab up here. And it's a 25. So I have not moved the UCS. So let's delete that mistaking, mistaken slab. And we'll move this up. Sorry, I forgot to move the UCS up to here. So you can just move it up afterwards. So now let's pick three points and we want to model in the stairs from here to here to here. And we're just going to use the slab again, but let's turn this around. So the Z axis is up. Let's select the slab again. Let's select this corner over here. And let's select this corner. And you can see because they are the same type they match together. Now if we change the type and let me see if we change the type it should unless I don't have it set I probably don't have it set in the in the defaults so let's not worry about that for now but you can have these where they won't join automatically in the defaults. So Let's see, we want to do a handicap of one inch on this stair, so let's do a one inch handicap. So let's do one, and now we want to do a feature in the Z direction, so rotate around the X axis, go to your features, pick this one, a polygon contour, select the slab, select that point, this point, this point, and there you go. And let's include the handicap and select this. Go to your tools, transform elements. And we want to copy. And we want to copy from, we can just pick these two points if you want, from here to here. We want to do seven elements. Preview. It's looking for the corresponding element. So I pick this, 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 this. And there you go, there's your concrete stairs. Pretty simple. Now you can see it has separated these. So let me pick this again. 25-30. And maybe it's just separated them because of the features. So I'm kind of new to this myself. Uh, I will use the model as the solids. Silly enough, I guess. Uh, just use the concrete. Some say the concrete slows it down a little bit, but uh, that's it. So now you can model your stairs. All you have to do then to do your handrail is draw a beam in here wherever you need it and use the beam to start your handrail. All right, thanks.